different languages to more than a half billion viewers each week. The World Wrestling Federation, the worldwide leader in sports entertainment. tag titles against the Godwins when Owen Hart, who was sitting at ringside, James Z, with the British Bulldog doing commentary, got involved and cost Austin and Dude Love the match via count -out. Well, that's right. As Austin was trying to climb back into the ring, you'll see Owen Hart come from behind oh, with the Intercontinental man. title belt. The rattlesnake goes down and was counted out. A loss, but not a loss of the titles for Dude Love and Stone Cold. Certainly Owen Hart providing more ammunition for Stone Cold Steve Austin and tomorrow night's Summer Slam pay-per-view extravaganza as Blackjack Wyndham arm drags the European champion one more time. Can you imagine, JR, if Stone Cold Steve Austin does not beat Owen Hart for the Intercontinental title, then Austin is going to have to bend over and kiss Owen Hart's butt right there in the Continental Airlines Arena. Well, for Stone Cold Steve Austin fans, and there are a lot of them that will be with us on pay-per-view, another arm drag takeover. It's either going to be one of the highlights of the year with Austin winning the Intercontinental title or one of the lowlights here in the WWF when Austin has to uh, pucker up and smooch the derriere of Owen Hart. And a tag has been made now. Blackjack Bradshaw in with the European champion. I'll tell you something. After... The Bulldog fed dog food. Wow. We saw that at the top of the program to Ken Shamrock. Oh, Shamrock's got some motivation, too. Why in the world would you want to, to tee off the world's most dangerous man? Ken Shamrock smelled like a, a bunch of potted meat after he came back from that match. You know what that smells like, JR, and that's horrible. And Shamrock, he may not have the WWF experience of the Bulldog, but he's been fighting no holes barred fights since he was a young boy. And I believe that's going to be a showdown. Owen Hart now set for the ride. Nice shoulder block by the Intercontinental Champion. One of Canada's finest hip lock takeover Ooh. by the Big Texan. And Bradshaw Ooh. shows some technical wrestling expertise with the arm drag takeover. What do you think Bulldog is going to do if, if he loses the European title to Ken Shamrock? Not only will he be losing to an American, but he'll have to eat a can of dog food right in the middle of the ring. Well, I hope he uh, gets used to the taste of it because I got a feeling that's what's going to happen. Nice teamwork there by the, the new Blackjacks, Bradshaw and Wyndham. And Wyndham connects with the right Ooh. hand. It's all meat. There's no cereal, no filler. And no byproduct. That's right. What is a byproduct? I haven't got a clue. I think you might want to look in the mirror. But a right hey. hand by Wyndham, and down goes Owen Hart. Well, I'll tell you something. The atmosphere with all the great fans from the New York City area. Uh-oh. Bad ride. Ooh, worst landing. 
Lateral press now. But the atmosphere in the Continental Airlines Arena tomorrow night on pay-per-view, I got to think, is going to be one of the most memorable experiences that we will ever, ever have in our careers. There's a lateral press and another near fall. Owen Hart is in trouble as the European champion looks on. Boy, some of Owen's landings remind me of some of the landings at Newark here lately. And a kick to the ribs. Thankfully, no one was seriously injured on that uh, situation. And uh, Which makes you wonder if anybody one, was driving. Two. Ooh. Owen Hart quickly backed up. Owen Hart has great resiliency. We talk about Shawn Michaels' resiliency. Owen Hart possesses that same trait and a spinning heel kick. And down goes the much larger Blackjack Bradshaw. And Owen Hart and the Bulldog make the exchange. An illegal double team. And make a wish. Bradshaw, he may turn out to be a turkey if Bulldog and Owen have their way. They're keeping him in their half of the ring, and they're making quick tags, and they've isolated him from his partner, Wyndham, who's the fresh man. Right now, Bradshaw is being sequestered in the corner of the Hart Foundation's British Bulldog and Owen Hart. Is that anything like quarantined? More or less, same difference. Certainly the Hart Foundation taking a great deal of credit for Mark Messier leaving the New York Rangers going back to Canada to play for the Vancouver Canucks of the National Hockey League. And from what we understand, Bret Hart had a long conversation with Mark Messier about the United States fans. And consequently, I don't think any of the Hart Foundation will receive a, a hero's welcome uh, tomorrow night on pay-per-view in uh, East Rutherford, New Jersey. You know what I got to say about those hockey fans? What? Puck them. All right, well, that was good. You're really going to endear yourself to the, the great fans of the Tri-State area. And Bradshaw's got to fight his way out of here. He's swinging at everything that's moving. He looks like one of those Texans at the Alamo. He's overmatched. And now look at Owen Hart choking away. Now Hart is smothering Bradshaw with the Canadian flag. Referee Mike Kyoto being outmaneuvered by the Hart Foundation. And outsmarted, and that's not too difficult, as a matter of fact, if you know Kyoto. Well, folks, here on WWF New York, we're going to tell you about Raw coming to Madison Square Garden. And this tag match will continue. SummerSlam. The man from the dark side possesses the gold. But this angry hitman is hell-bent on reclaiming it. SummerSlam, the reigning Intercontinental Champion, got the 1-2-3 in the 10-man tag. But the bottom line is a promise this stone-cold killer intends to keep. I'll kiss his ass if I can't kick it, and that's the way it's gonna be. Stridex presents WWF SummerSlam, heart and soul, live tomorrow, only on pay-per-view. Welcome back, everybody, to WWF New York. Tag team action. Bradshaw oh. with a cradle on Owen Hart. And another near fall here. The new Blackjacks walking tall from the state of Texas here on WWF New York. And Look Owen Hart is getting oh. pummeled. Look at those rights. Bradshaw hitting Owen Hart oh. and Zagiri. Yes, baby. is right. And Bradshaw knocked down. And perhaps more importantly, Bradshaw stays in the corner of the Hart Foundation. Bulldog and Owen are such an experienced team, they play this ring like a pool table, and they're always putting their opponents in the proper position right in front of their pocket. Ooh. Reversal of the Irish whip by the 300-plus pound Justin Hawk Bradshaw, Black Jack Bradshaw, if you will. Certainly, I'm sure reminds a lot of fans, oh my, in New York, of a Stan the Lariat Hanson, the bad man from Borger, Texas, Certainly reminds me of Justin Hawk Bradshaw, Black Jack Bradshaw. Here comes Owen, and he stopped him. Hey, JR, are you going to be hanging out with Billy Joel this Thursday? Are you talking about the Garth Brooks thing in Central Park? Oh, I thought they said Garth Brooks. I'm sorry. You know, Garth Brooks is a, one of my Oklahoma pals. Those boys from Oklahoma, they generally do well when they come up here to New York, don't they? They sure do. Mickey Mantle. Yeah. Garth Brooks. Good old JR. There you have it. And the Blackjacks make the tag. Wyndham in. And look at Wyndham. With nothing but force. Nothing but high-impact right hands. And oh, high elevation. Ooh. 
Nice back body drop. Wyndham going for the cover. Wow! And the veteran sees the Bulldog coming in with his peripheral vision and meets the Bulldog. Nice suplex. The son of Black Jack Mulligan with the cover. And now the European champion interrupts the count. Bulldog made the save that time, but Bradshaw's trying to fend him off. Wyndham inside cradle. Wyndham, wait a minute. The Bulldog reversed it for Owen. The Bulldog helps Owen Hart get the deciding pin here. Here are your winners, Owen Hart and the British Bulldog. Boy, Bulldog was right there on the scene, and he switched that inside cradle. And Owen Hart wrapped up Wyndham for the victory for the Bulldog and Owen. Will they have the same amount of luck at SummerSlam? Well, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow's SummerSlam is presented by Autoland. And the TV production crew has uh, been down to Continental Airlines Arena and have opened up just a few seats. A few seats are available, so you can call Ticketmaster or stop by the box office at the Continental Airlines Arena and get these very few remaining tickets. Well, let's take you back now to Raw. The Igloo in Pittsburgh was ecstatic until the hitman, Bret Hart, came on the scene and the reaction turned somewhat more negative. party and Bret Hart responded to the addition of Shawn Michaels as special referee in his championship matchup with The Undertaker with this to say. In the SummerSlam, despite the fact that you got, let me ask you, Shawn Michaels. Oh, I bet you're happy about that. It's all fixed up nice for everybody. Shawn Michaels and just supposing that Shawn Michaels doesn't call this one fair. What happens then? I still get screwed, and he sits home for another 10 years looking for his smile. Whether you Americans like it or not, I will be a fifth-time World Wrestling Federation champion. Last week, the Patriot decided to stick his nose in my business. Now, here's this guy, walks into the World Wrestling Federation. The new kid on the block and starts preaching to me about American values. Patriot, you align yourself with the wrong people. Here you are, you, you come out on stage in San Antonio, Texas. we got Shawn Michaels on one hand. making a challenge to the Patriot? I'm making a challenge to the Patriot. I'm going to flush him down the toilet right here tonight on Raw. And Undertaker, you're the next one on my list. And by hook or by crook, I will be fifth-time World Wrestling Federation champion. And I promise to bring the championship belt back to Canada where it belongs. was somewhat different for Shawn Michaels as he was introduced to the sold-out igloo in Pittsburgh. And as Shawn made his way to the ring, the fans in the U.S. certainly welcomed him with open arms and open lungs. Now, one thing is for sure. I've always told you I am no brain surgeon. But one thing I am positive of, I'm a hell of a lot safer out here than I am back there. Suffice to say, I'm not the most popular guy in the World Wrestling Federation. But then again, I'm not looking to win any popularity contest. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna take your seat while my good buddy, the Hitman, comes out here and does his match. I'm gonna take your chair and do the color commentary. So, Finman, show me the way to your seat. Well, the Hitman was obviously upset at Sean being allowed to be at ringside for his match, but when the Patriot asked for the national anthem to be played, Bret Hart took his anger to new heights and sunk to an all-time low. Well, Bret Hart pulled a few tricks out of his bag and took control of the Patriot, putting him in a pitting predicament. But Shawn Michaels was there to let Bret Hart know what he might expect this Sunday. Well, Bret turned. He didn't know which way to turn, whether to the downed referee or to the heartbreak kid on the outside or to his opponent, the Patriot in the ring. But his anger at Shawn got the best of him. The Patriot from behind with a surprise and the referee made the three count. The Patriot had pinned Brett the Hitman Hart. The Sunday careers may be altered for the three top superstars in the WWF as Brett and The Undertaker battle for the WWF title. And the big question is whether Shawn Michaels will be able to keep from destroying the career of Brett the Hitman Hart. And remember, folks, the TV crew is opening up some seats as they move equipment around so you don't want to miss the biggest spectacular of the summer right here in the tri-state area. A limited number of tickets have been made available for SummerSlam, but if you don't get your tickets, remember, you can join us on pay-per-view this Sunday night for the summertime extravaganza known as SummerSlam. Well, JR, the loose cannon gets a piece of gold dust tomorrow, but later he'll try to take a bite out of the Big Apple. And next, Hunter Hearst Helmsley will be here, but will China be able to keep her hands off the competition? Right now, let's see a man who can't wait to get to the WWF, the big German prophet. My name is Brackers, and I come from Deutschland. My Gewicht is 300 Pfund. And when I come to America, to the World Wrestling Federation, the nation of domination in the ring krieger very see zerstören welcome back everybody to wwf new york tomorrow SummerSlam spectacular at continental airlines arena is presented by stridex triple clean your skin with stridex medicated pads Jesse James is here. He's ready to go one-on-one -on, -one on WWF New York. 
with the reigning king of the ring, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Helmsley's queen, China, is on the outside. And Helmsley, I'm sure China thinks Helmsley's a handsome young man, and perhaps he is, but his looks may change after this big cage match at SummerSlam with Mankind. That's right. You know, Helmsley has made the comment, I'm not an animal, I'm a blue blood. I shouldn't be locked in a cage like Mankind. Slapped the taste out of his mouth, but... He said, if you put my back against the wall, I can be an animal too. And China, once again, with a distraction, she is everywhere. As a matter of fact, JR, I wonder if Marv Albert's name is in China's address book. Well, I don't know. Poor old Marv back in hot water. Bless his rubbed head. And right there's a kick to the face by Jesse James. And Jesse James, the former United States Marine, knocking down the Connecticut Blue Blood. And a high hip hop takeover into a pinning predicament. Great uh, technical expertise demonstrated by the second generation star from south of the Mason-Dixon line, Jesse James. You know, Helmsley, he really has a problem when he gets in his steel cage match with Mankind because not only can he not bail out of the ring when the going gets tough, but China, unless she's an expert mountain climber, is gonna have a hard time getting inside that cage to interfere in the action. Certainly China has proven on numerous occasions that she will interfere at any time in the matches of the reigning king of the ring. She has made her presence felt on many occasions as it relates Ooh. to Helmsley's rivalry with mankind. And boy, that look on her face all the time, just, just a, a piercing look. As a matter of fact, you know, that homeless woman stabbed that man on, a, on the train in Queens because she didn't like the way he looked at her. If looks could kill, then a lot of people would be laying on the floor with China around. And China now sizing up Jesse James here. She's almost like a stalker. It's almost as if she's stalking Jesse James. And here comes the 200-pound bodyguard. Oh, a clothesline! Wow. Can you believe the audacity of this woman? She is a dangerous human being. And Helmsley must be really proud of his bodyguard. High five, baby. She just put Jesse James out like the cat. Take another look at this. Jesse James never saw her coming until it was too late. Jesse James is going to be as depressed as Pete Harnish if he's not careful. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go away. WWF New York will continue right after this timeout. The WWF Superstar Line is open right now at 1-900-737-4WWF. And on option three, the inside information on Shawn Michaels' plot to cost Bret Hart the title, even if it means never wrestling in the U.S. again. The call costs a buck 49 per minute, and kids under 18 must have parents' permission before calling. 1-900-737-4WWF. Call now. And we're back on WWF New York. Jesse James quickening the pace here. Helmsley misses a couple of close lines. But Helmsley regrouped and shows great ring presence by delivering a hard knee right to the face of Jesse James. Boy, both those guys were moving so fast, something had to give. Somebody had to get stopped just so they could both have a little relief. Folks, we've got big news for you as it relates to Madison Square Garden for the first time ever in Madison Square Garden. Monday night, September the 22nd, you're going to see Raw is War live from MSG. Monday night, September 22nd. Remember, the show on September the 13th in the Garden has been moved to accommodate this change, and tickets purchased for the September 13th event will be honored for Raw is War in the Garden on Monday night, September the 22nd. No doubt this is going to be a record-setting crowd in Madison Square Garden, so we suggest, uh oh look at Jesse James, you get your tickets early for Raw is War in Madison Square Garden on Monday night, September 22nd. And you don't think that the citizens of New York City would dare, would have the guts to bring their signs, their posters, their banners, their American flags to show the Hart Foundation what the USA thinks about Canada, do you? Let me tell you one thing. You can go to sporting events anywhere in the world, but nothing compares to the fans of the New York City area as far as enthusiasm Ooh. concerns. Helmsley with an enthusiastic lateral press and Jesse James just barely able to kick out. By the way, James, are you going to put on your old Speedo tomorrow and join us at the Continental Airlines Arena from uh, 3 to 5.30 for the, the big beach party sponsored by Z100? I'll thank you not to make reference to my butt floss. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there'll be a, a lot of WWF superstars, uh, music, 
sand, and a whole lot more, including uh, your host, Doc Hendricks. As a matter of fact, James, Doc might even sing us a little too. Maybe, maybe Doc will sing Freebird tomorrow. Ruddy Van Zandt may be there. They may even dig Hoff up for this one. Jesse James doing some singing of his own here with Ooh. those uh, musically inclined Ooh. fists. The jabs Ooh. are finding their mark and a little showboating by Jesse oh. James before he finds the mark with the elbow. He hit Helmsley right in the beak. And how could you miss it? And now Jesse James is riding high here on the king of the ring. And you gotta wonder what mankind thinks about the big cage match tomorrow on pay-per-view at SummerSlam. You'll hear some comments, oh my, from mankind a little bit later here on WWF New York. Well, I don't think Helmsley did himself any favors taking this match right before the big cage match oh. because Jesse James is softening him up for mankind. Jesse James now. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. China distracted Jesse James. There's a pedigree. And Greenwich, Connecticut's favorite son, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, is going to win this thing as Helmsley gears up for the steel case battle of a lifetime at SummerSlam. Well, another man has fallen to the China Syndrome. This time it was Jesse James. But at SummerSlam, it may be mankind. Two men locked in a cage, one a blue blood, one an animal. Which one will come out on top? Jesse James almost had him when he went for the, for the big slam. regarding SummerSlam. He had this to say earlier today. A refrigerated boxcar may be a great place for a fur-covered little bunny or a wintry snowman, but it's no place for a freezing little girl. In much the same way, a 15-foot high steel cage is home sweet home to a twisted psycho like me. But it is no place for a pretentious stuck-up pretty boy like you, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. So it will take great pride in shoving your face through the cage, letting the people see the fear in your eyes, and then rearranging your face so not even the greatest plastic surgeon in all of Greenwich, Connecticut will recognize you. Have a nice day! Oh, it's going to be something, ladies and gentlemen, inside a steel cage tomorrow night on pay-per-view. Mankind and Hunter Hearst Helmsley. And what will the China Syndrome be in the Continental Airlines Arena, folks? It's so easy to get pay-per-view. Even if you got a satellite dish, you can call DirecTV at 1-800-DIRECTV. And, of course, for you folks with uh, the uh, Primetime 24 satellite system, the number is 1-800-989-SLAM. For whatever you do, join us on pay-per-view for SummerSlam. Well, Gold Dust back better not be turned tomorrow because the loose cannon will be loaded and we'll see him in a bit. Plus, when we return, he's too sexy for the WWF. He's Brian Christopher, and he'll be here with the King, Jerry Lawler, next. Thanks, everybody, for staying up late with us here on WWF New York. And, folks, uh, here he comes, Brian Christopher. And he's being followed by his dear old daddy here tonight, Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, yeah, come on, JR. You got no proof of that. What are you making this accusation Are for? you ready for a little bit of excitement, you peon? Brian Christopher are fixing to provide a little bit of excitement for you. Tell them not to touch me. Don't ever put your hands on Too Sexy. Don't ever touch me. Like heavyweight division match. Stop pushing this sexy behind you, baby. That sounds like a personal problem to me. Look at these girls. When you see a girl that looks like that, you know that she would love Oh my gosh. But don't you know she would love to get the chance to touch you? Oh, yeah. Only in your dreams, girl. Only in your dreams. Somebody get Brian some Pepto Bismol. Somebody get a muzzle for the king. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am here to provide a little bit of color commentary. There you go. Quite frankly, because I am the only man who is sufficiently articulate enough to brag for Brian Christopher. Also, 
Like father, like Quite son. Frankly, because Jim Wait. Ross couldn't entertain a thought. My slash was TV audience. <laughs> well, he now nailed Brian, that one. Yeah, Henny Young. What I want you to do Milton is just go in there and show this. What's your name? Ace Darling? Wait, hold on, let's get one thing straight right off the bat. You are Ace Darling, right? Are you any kin to the Darlings that were on the Andy Griffith show? You know, Briscoe Darling? Oh, wait a minute. You may be Opie. Are you Opie? Can I have your autograph, Opie? <laughs> I was a big fan of the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> oh, what a sucker. Sorry about that, Opie. Well, Brian Christopher now, attacking Ace what, Darling. Brian, Will somebody turn off Lawler's mic? Just go and show why? Opie there and all the rest of these morons why you are the best, the greatest light heavyweight that has ever hit the World Wrestling Federation. Watch this, folks. This is going to be... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Hey. No. Oh, Lawler may never be a granddaddy. Hey, How about a disqualification? Hey, that's not very darling. Hey, starting drop kicking Brian Christopher outside. Look out, Brian! Oh, watch out, JR! You're making a big mistake, punk. You are making him mad, and when he gets mad, he is going to destroy you. Do you understand? Look out! Thank God I hey, saw him three. coming. Do you need a pair of glasses, or you need me to come in there and do your job, too? Here we go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> couldn't part that hair. Come on, get a hold of it. You know, I'm oh, enjoying this commentary, you know Jim. Oh, me too. I'm having a blast. Because anything would grow on 200 pounds of fertilizer. Come on. Ah. It's like Ben Cartwright talking about <laughs> little Joe. <laughs> That's for you, Opie. <laughs> Ace Darling, he almost had him in a DDT, but he hesitated too long. What? Tell me, who is the greatest light heavyweight and why is he? Huh? Brian Christopher. Come on, Brian, teach that punk a lesson. I'm sure the king will be in rare form tomorrow night at SummerSlam. He'll be at ringside. Hey! Yeah, you're going to have him for three hours. Look at Darling. Hey, he's on his tights. On his tights, Rip. That's a nice What's move by nice? Ace Darling. Punk's cheating. And right on, there, Darling. Well, he got no, he didn't. Ace two. Darling almost upsets Brian Christopher. There you go. There this is the go. end <laughs> Ooh. Hey, take a look. Get the camera over here. Wouldn't you love, huh? Look at her. Can you get a shot of her right what there? What is he doing? What? Huh? That's your wife. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> I bet you were real drunk when you married her, weren't you? <laughs> Looks like he never sobered up. <laughs> I apologize, I ladies and gentlemen. You know what they say? Up. Beauty's only a light switch away, huh? <laughs> those remarks by Jerry Lawler. I apologize to that guy for Look having bad judgment Come on, he had. Brian, tear him up. Destroy him. Well, Jerry Lawler ain't no Ward Cleaver. This is going to be great right here. Wait a minute. I think Christopher's about to finish him off. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Turn around, Watch Brian. He's up on his feet. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, that Come might on. turn things around for a starting Come here. On, Brian. Looks like he's in, he's about to have cardiac arrest, no, no. and there's a big sunset oh. clip on another near fall. That was two oh. and seven eighths. This ace, darling, I've seen him in action before. He can go. You can't take him too lightly. Come on, Brian. Brian Christopher in trouble. Must oh, 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 well, he's not now. Finish him off for me. Come on, finish him off. He just ate some turnbuckle. Ace, what? ace darling, in trouble is. Brian Christopher now, what's he gonna do here? Everybody watch this right here! It's that reverse DDT he's been using! Yeah. I like it! <laughs> Brian Christopher now, we'll try to put the finishing touches on Ace Darling. This is it, get the cameras ready! Take the pictures, let's see the flash bombs! Oh. You can count to 100 right now! He put another one away, oh, JR, yeah. Brian Two Christopher! Two well, the good Brian news is, is that... Lawler will finally shut up, maybe. Not only are you people idiots, you oh. actually shots too. <laughs> Shows how much you know. There he is right there. Eat your heart out. You what? can't silence the truth. Boy, that face Steve would stop a sundown. Light heavyweight in the World Wrestling Federation today. Well, take a look at this 
replay, Jayon Bryant, Christopher sets him up and mows him down again. And right now, let's take a special look at the WWF champion, The Undertaker. It's obvious to everyone that some of the superstars here in the World Wrestling Federation are completely out of control, especially you, Brett the Hitman Hart. Well, if you think for one moment that you're going to be allowed to run rampant here in the World Wrestling Federation, well, you can just guess again, because the wheels have been set in motion already by me and my executive committee, who are formulating a list of names, and this Monday night on Raw, a commissioner will be named to rectify the situation. Well, JR, if there's a commissioner around here putting his foot down, maybe stuff like what happened last Monday won't be happening anymore with boxers coming and punching wrestlers around. IBF heavyweight champion Michael Moore from Pittsburgh is at ringside. Look at the slap by Rockabilly. And then boom, a right hand. Down goes Rockabilly. Meanwhile, Goldust was distracted, giving Brian Pillman the opportunity to attack Goldust from behind, James. And then the dress that Pillman may have to wear if he loses to Goldust at SummerSlam was at ringside. Pillman took the dress and proceeded to rip it to shreds and stick it down Goldust's throat. Whereupon, by the way, Pillman then gave Marlena the ride of her life. Pillman one-on-one -on -one here with Lou Marconi here on WWF New York. Pillman making his first appearance ever at a SummerSlam. The big pay-per-view extravaganza is going to be something to behold. A very special event. You know, Pillman's nuts. I mean, he even, he jumped that fan one time when he was next to you doing broadcasting, JR. Don't you like having me around better? That's kind of why I called the uh, WWF producers and kind of got Pillman fired out of that broadcast job, just so you and me can work together more often. You know, I don't know when to believe you and when not to believe you. Pillman got himself fired by attacking a fan. Well, I put Monsoon the, did the honors, if you will. I put the word in. I put the word in, and I told him what kind of a volatile personality that Brian Pillman was, because I'm a better broadcaster than he is. <laughs> Look out. Uh -oh. Watch out, JR. Give him plenty of room. Uh, I don't like the looks of this at all. Brian, you're the guy. You're number one. You're number one. Right, come on. Get him, uh -oh. get him out of here. You shouldn't have fired him, Ross. He shouldn't he have fired you. He, he fired you. He fired you. I didn't fire you. He, he took your job. You. I didn't get the guy in the ring. I saw him. He went to the producer and had you fired, Brian. I tried to stop him. Can you tell the truth? You're changing your story in mid-sentence. What are you talking about changing my story? I'm just covering my butt. You said you got it. Yeah, that's exactly. CYA bro, James E. Lou Marconi being decimated here by the uh, loose cannon. And Pillman, what, what's he, what's Mar Pillman doing here? Marconi with a reversal. Ooh, he didn't close. reverse nothing. Well, I'm gonna tell you something right one. now. Brian Pillman better reverse gold dust forward movement at SummerSlam or elsewise he will be wearing, and I'm talking about Pillman, a dress on Monday when Raw is war. Earlier in the broadcast, we talked about Raw is war. For the first time ever at Madison Square Garden. It's going to be on Monday, September the 22nd. And right there, Pillman with a neck breaker. Pillman, lateral press, and the loose cannon wins this match, leading into SummerSlam. Here he with her. The loose See, that's cannon. what I'm telling you. He is the, you're Pillman. the man. You are the man, Brad Pillman. I love you. I think you're the best. See what you lost. See what you lost. I when saw, you got him fired. I see what I lost, and I see all I've gained as well. Now, wait a minute. Folks, we'll be right back. Don't go away. SummerSlam. The man from the dark side possesses the gold, but this angry hitman is hell-bent on reclaiming it. SummerSlam, the reigning Intercontinental Champion, got the one, two, three in the 10-man tag. But the bottom line is a promise this stone-cold killer intends to keep. I'll kiss his ass if I can't kick it, and that's the way it's gonna be. Stridex presents WWF SummerSlam, heart and soul, live tomorrow, only on pay-per-view. Counting down the minutes of SummerSlam. Be sure and be by your phone during SummerSlam because you still have a chance to win $1 million.
Well, you're going to see eight-man tag team warfare when Los Boricuas take on the Disciples of the Apocalypse. And the unpredictable loose cannon Brian Pillman goes one-on-one -on -one with Gold Dust. Hawk and Animal, the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom meets the Godwins, Henry and Phineas, in a showdown. Plus, inside a solid steel cage, mankind will attempt to dismantle Hunter Hearst Helmsley. The European title is on the line. The British Bulldog defending against Ken Shamrock. And if the Bulldog loses the title, he'll eat a can of dog food. Owen Hart will collide with Stone Cold Steve Austin for the Intercontinental title. And if Stone Cold doesn't win the title, he's going to kiss Owen Hart's derriere. And for the WWF Championship, The Undertaker defends against Bret the Hitman Hart. If Bret Hart does not win the WWF title, he will never wrestle in the United States again. And Shawn Michaels will be the special referee. And if Shawn favors The Undertaker, Shawn will never wrestle in the United States again either. Ladies and gentlemen, what an event it's going to be. It only happens once a year, exclusively on pay-per-view. We'll see you at SummerSlam.